Thank you, Zach. WOSN is the title sponsor for the second annual FCA Legends of Northwest Ohio Banquet last month, an event that brought 14 college and professional athletes from our area back home together to share their faith. Andy tells us about a weekend that will be impacting hundreds who got a chance to be part of it. Three big events taking place during a 28-hour window, all with the common goal of allowing athletes and coaches to share their faith in Jesus Christ and to be encouraged in their spiritual journey. Started Friday at Elida with the Basement Doctor Legends Football Camp, where 20 high school coaches joined another 20 high school, college, and professional football players, teaching around 200 kids the fundamentals about the game and how to carry themselves in life. Each kid got a Bible and a cinch sack and walked away knowing that God loved them and had a plan for them. You know, you just see the fire in like some of those kids' eyes when they're getting down, ready to go. Then two events the next day, the Lima First Assembly of God Golf with the Legends outing, followed by the WOSN Legends of Northwest Ohio Banquet, stirring testimonies of how God was working in the athletes' lives. Denver Broncos quarterback Zach Dysert, an Ada grad, lost his mom Carla this past fall to an auto accident. He reflected on how God was carrying him through. I mean, it was pretty shocking, obviously, and... It's pretty tough still. Uh, you have good days and you have bad days. Um, but, I mean, like you said, I mean, I, I believe, I, I try to tell myself this, that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I don't ever, I'm ne I'll never know what that reason was or is. But, uh, you know, that's what I just keep telling myself. And, I mean, it's brought me and my family a lot closer. Throughout college and his time in Denver, Zach's mom would text him Bible verses each day to help him through whatever life was sending his way. You know, uh, I mean, I still have all of her texts, to be honest, and uh, so I still read them almost every day, and it, I mean, it helps. The night concluded with a conversation with professional golfer Dylan Klein, who moved from Delphus to South Carolina to pursue his dream last summer. I've been down there since August, and it was not a pleasant experience. I mean, let's just put it that way. Let's just put it easy. It's not a pleasant, wasn't a pleasant experience for me at all. Um, I came home at Christmas time and I met with Andy and Chipotle and I literally broke down and cried in front of probably 75 people that were in Chipotle because it was right around lunchtime. <laughs> and I literally told Andy, I said, I have, I have to find the Lord again. I have to. I'm, I'm at the lowest low that I've been at in my entire life. I was ready to walk away from professional golf. I mean, it's been such a grind just these first 10 months. But it's something that I look back on and there have been so many positives that have come from so many negatives <laughs> in my life. Some people might think, oh, that's a kill joy. That's no fun. Is your, fun more, is your life more or less joyful since you've been following Jesus? A thousand times more joyful. <laughs> I mean, it's not even, it's not even close. It's... Uh... <laughs> It's, it's honestly, it's hard for me to sit up here and say that before seven months ago that like I really was not super in touch with the Lord. Like I feel horrible saying that now that I've experienced truly, you know, really diving all into to the Lord and, and understanding what the scripture means and, you know, learning every something new every day with you, especially. 34 folks committed or recommitted their lives to Christ that night as we all journey together in this walk of faith.